Casey, and today we are going to take an intimate look at the Paysetter Sprint Car. These are Paysetter Sprint Cars, designed and built in 1979 by Jeff Schmidt, founder of Paysetter in California. The company's original plan was to design and build large-scale RC boats, the first ever created. With this success, Jeff then focused on his passion for the automobile. Thus, the Paysetter Sprint Car was born. In fact, it was the first quarter-scale RC car built. The competition didn't arrive for another six years. of one of Paysetter's sprint cars in its original configuration. Cars came standard with cast aluminum wheels. They also had a two-piece fiberglass body. They were powered by a .60 nitro engine. And they also had an aluminum quick change rear end. version of the original. It was painted as a tribute to A.J. Foyt. It has spun aluminum wheels, custom Nerf bars, and also a custom exhaust. And guess what? It's all hand painted. No decals used. Not least, we have the first Colin powered car converted by Gary Conley. It houses his first generation working V8 engine. The wheels are eye catching with custom knockoff hubs. And this was the actual car featured in Gary's promotional products video in the 1980s. The original Pace Setter Sprint Car, which started the quarter-inch scale car revolution, was originally powered by a two-cycle single-cylinder engine. This model seemed to be an ideal candidate for testing the concept of V8 power. With the original V8 engine installed in the Sprint Car having only a 5 8 inch bore and a 5 8 inch stroke, with total displacement of a tiny 1.53 cubic inches, the V8's performance potential was established.
These are three pace setter sprint cars, and I'll see you around the bend.